You can create functions in Zoho CRM that will allow you to achieve functionality that is not possible to achieve with the default CRM settings. Zoho CRM is very powerful and customizable, but there will be times where you need to create a function. In this video, we're going to cover the basic of functions and we will go over some examples. In the description, we're going to link a few videos from our YouTube channel where we're using functions, as well as other resources we recommend checking out. Here we are in the function section of the CRM. Let's click on new function. There are many function types, but the most common ones are button, automation, and standalone. In this case, let's select automation. Name this function and click on next. This is the editor where we can create a function. Generally, you're going to have to give the function some information for it to start. This is called argument. You can have one or many arguments. It is important that you select the correct data type. For example, if you need to pass this function to worker ID, a string would be the type you select. Let's close this. In this section, you're going to write your code. Zoho has its own coding language called Deluge. It is not very popular given that it only works with Zoho apps, but the online official documentation is a good place to start. This editor allows you to test the code before deploying it. You can use the button save and execute for that, and the console will show if the function worked or if there were any errors. Some example functions are assigning a task to someone that is not the record owner, creating records and mapping lookup fields, formatting dates, creating folders in work drive, generating PDFs using Zoho Writer, copying information from one field and add it to a different field. Again, if you want to learn more about functions, check out the links in the description. Now let's open the connections tab. When you're creating a function that connects a CRM with other apps, chances are you will have to use a connection. The connection will manage all the data transfer between the apps. If we click on create connection, we will be able to see all the services available. The one you're going to be using to connect Zoho apps is Zoho OAuth. When you're setting this app, you will have to select the scopes that you want to use, depending on what the function is going to do. There are many here, so make sure to use the search button if needed. You can have as many connections as needed, and you can reuse them in different functions. The last thing I want to mention is client scripts. Here, you can use JavaScript to create scripts that will execute on the web browser. If you know how to code in JavaScript, you can add scripts that will increase the functionality of the CRM without having to use Deluge. 